I always remember Christmas morning, my mum would be up, get get fire going it by the Eric kitchen, and as soon as he'd get going, carry a great shovel full of coal, and uh, and put it on fire there, what we just, don't know, make fire it pile. <laughs> they, oh, they could smell sulphur for, for hours after, like, and it was all right, it was nice, it, it, it fire it pile, but, whoa, I'll tell you what, if wing eat it run direction, that talks about smoke. They, they couldn't see a thing for flaming smoke, they, they, they couldn't see a thing that room. Well, like I said, this went on only a couple of times a year. Then we got to, what I call it, to, to well, what we call kitchen. And a great uh, Yorkshire range in the uh, black, black, well, a black leaded fireplace it was at first. And uh, we all these cooking everything out through. And uh, we had a great big table in there. That was one of them wooden tables, like big like farmhouse table with drawers inside of it. And all, all cutlery and everything was, were, were, were kept in there. Absolutely scrub white it were, it, it, it was spotless and if anybody had come in like we used to clad a tablecloth for it, I know but normally we just ate off, off, off of that. But uh, I with a, a set of, you know, I think a couple of ouchies and that, I know, it, it, it was nice, it was. Now, Bill Dont at uh, the kitchen was what we call pantry. Not much of a room this, it was, it was but, but a small little room and uh, with one tap sticking out, well one cow where to tap, now that cow where to tap, that served all this, we'd know what way through to there. But we didn't until a bit, a few years on like we're getting a hot water geezer, and I go without with some of them and we get that. But then, um, as I said, with this one tap sticking out and, and underneath it was a uh, slop stone, a brown slop stone, eh? And that's how the next stone form. Everybody had a stone form where we do with one inside and one outside. And then like pushed at the top of this stone form with what they call it, mates it. No fridges freeze out like that, unknown of mates it. Well like a box with gauze at uh, at sides and, and front and used to open do and all milk and mate and that would be put in. Keep all flies out of the and it uh, when it was when it was uh, summertime when it geet hot. Then I remember we'd eat uh, one of them kitchenettes, I bet you all remember kitchenettes, everybody had a kitchenette, ours was a big green one, I think we had to get us, and uh, like at top they had, they had two two covers, like do as glass do as the dot net, and uh, there was quite a few shelves inside where we used to put stuff on, and then air for all down, it, it stuck out a bit, and it, it pooed it out, this was like a metal thing what they pooed out, they had, they had a work surface then, they, they, they could eat it here in fact, if they felt like it. Then of course underneath were mover, mover, mover doers and that. So who was all right with, with, with quite a bit of storage uh, there then. But uh, then went rooms downstairs now when, when they went upstairs, oh I'll tell the cowed, you don't know what cowed was till you get in our room there, especially that front room. Oh god it was cowed, they could sit thighs in winter, I'm not calling, they could sit thighs forming on hot windows there. We used to have all sorts of old beds, lot of hide down, blankets, jackets, the lot for try to keep warm. And of course under bed, with that poet, Jerry, then I was uh, that well, chamber pot, I suppose, you know, they were, they were card really, but they, they needed it. They had to one because I'll tell you what, they lab, that talks about a trek, I'll have a trek. Well, oh, no inside lab there, and they, they go out through three porch, do they? They was up some cobbles, past little gat work shades, were. They go through there, up backs, and then all day were slouchy in, 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 in winter, they, they was up to their flaming ankles. And then of course they finally arrived at the down petty there, eh? Hey, a row of petties. We, we, every house had the, the, their own petty, and then they were all kept clean, all whitewashed and that, then us, and uh, we looked after. Remember, all, all piping in there, we used, we used to put setkin round, didn't you? Tea setkin round with string for to, but stop frost getting to them because I mean if they bust, oh that 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 wait for everywhere. I remember my dad uh, coming one 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 eating a bag. I said, "What's getting it bag there, dad?" He says, "Sex for lavatory." I said, "No, we're all eating here, sexing for lavatory. That's what he meant. He, he meant like sexing for for it, lad, not sex it, lad." <laughs> hey, oh, I, ah, but I just remember when it when it used to get really cold, we all had storm lamps in there. They they've storm lantern. They were belting them paraffin lamps in there. That was. Tell you what, when when they used to be at Labo City, they aroused me. It was brilliant. You used to love it. You used to love these said, uh, watching hot shadows, hot warm, that. Well, they, they now get me out. But what I'm saying is, like, with those labbies, as I've just said, we had, we had those jerrys upstairs, and that every morning, early morning, I see hot women with, with paw in their hands, and I was taking them up, they had it, had it covered all out with a sheet of newspaper or something, and I was, and they all oh, knew what were in it. And they, they, they peep out, like, nobody about, and, woo, one of them were up. Don't want to come out. No, dear man. Woo, they'd run up.